Hey guys, it's me, Dabar, Strikes up once again. Not just to get, to get two reviews, you get three reviews in one day. So now I'm going to review on the Lego Ninjago movie, which a few years ago I reviewed the Lego movie and Lego Batman movie to lean up to the Lego Ninjago movie. But now I'm going to leave up to. Let's review on this movie. I've never done it before, it's my first time reviewing this movie. So get to the plot is. So basically, the plot is we have Master Boo and Garmadon. They are very are good brothers. And then basically, um. And basically, we have the ninja team called um, Lloyd, Kai, Mia, Zane, and Cole. That's how they pronounce the names. Basically, they team up to the, the big Garmadon. And basically, um, it's basically a father and son story, all that stuff. And that's basically what the plot is. But that's going to describe the plot is. Now, guys, I need to be deadly honest. I have never seen the Lego Ninjago TV show. That's right, I have never seen the Lego Ninjago TV show, so I didn't, but I do know some of the characters because I have seen some ads on TV for the Lego Ninjago play sets on TV. But honestly, the trailer looks, actually looks pretty good. Look, it, I saw the trailer, I say maybe this could be a fun movie. And I watched it back in 2018. It was good, but not as good as the other two Lego movies. Now, to watch it again, I have to say is, it did not age well. Now, guys, I would say this. The animation is the best looking out of the Lego movies. I could say that. The action scenes were fantastic. If I had to pick a favorite character, this is, this is going to be unusual, guys. But my favorite character in this movie is Garmadon. That's right. Garmadon is my favorite character in this movie. This character is so... So funny. He's like the funniest character on screen. I love seeing Garmadon on the screen. He's like a very funny. I love the people when he fires those, those, those people out of the volcano. That was so hilarious. Yeah, Garmadon is so funny. He's like the funniest character of the, of the entire movie. That's the saving grace of this movie. And I do like the scene with Master Moo and Garmadon fight. That was an epic scene. Now, guys, there is a lot, a lot of issues with this movie. I don't hate the Lego Jago movie. I just think it's the weakest out of the series. With the weakest out of the Lego movies. Now, I have no DVD to complete the Lego, collect the Lego movie collections. Now, I have all three Lego movies. Now, let's go take to the negatives. First off, the, uh, the bit when, when everybody called Lloyd a threat. The whole town called um, Lloyd a threat. Honestly, it is absolutely mean spirit. That is absolutely mean spirit. The whole town in Jago are very mean spirits. It's pretty much like Chicken Little. They take they, they take on harsh on Chicken Little or not. I mean, seriously. It's just pretty much like Chicken Little. Now, the story, honestly, I'm with Harry Thomas. Harry Thomas is right. This story kind of copied Star Wars. It's the father and savage that tell Gomer to the good side. Honestly, it's a rip-off to Star Wars to Return of the Jedi. When they're planning to get to the Darth Vader turn to the good side. Honestly, they kind of ripped up Dan. Master Wu, honestly, he is a great character. I love seeing him on screen. He's actually my second favorite character of the of the movie. He's a great character. He's voiced by Jackie Chan, the voice of Monkey from Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, he's a great character. He has more lines than Master Shifu in, in Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, he's kind of like Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda movies. That's going to describe him. As the others, Mia, Cole, Chase, or Kai, or whatever their names are, they're great. They're not burying it. They're just great characters. Now, the climax. Honestly, the climax is pretty much like uh, raise some cat. Honestly, not to be that much. Meowdra, that's the name. It's the cat. Meowdra. Honestly, it's just there. And honestly, the ending bit was kind of emotional with God was like eaten by a cat. It's kind of emotional, but it's on a bad. Then we have the human scene with Jackie Chan. Honestly, they did kind of ruin it in one of the TV spots of this movie. They kind of ruined that part. But honestly, those are my negatives. And as for Lloyd's mom, Coco, uh, that's her mom's name, I guess. I don't know because I, I never see the TV show. Yeah, she wasn't burying it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I agree with Dragon Critic. She should get more screen time. Coco is a great character. And I do like the scene with have a Garmadon's backstory. I think that's a very awesome scene. But on of that, guys, this is the Lego movie I actually go back to the least. Honestly, 
I've only watched the movie twice, and honestly, this is the Lego movie I kind of go back to these. I don't hate this movie. It just didn't age well. This is honestly one of the weakest out of the Lego movies. I'm hoping Lego Movie 2 can be a lot better than this movie. I mean, it's worth watching. I won't give it like a 7 out of 10. I won't, but honestly, just, I won't give it, oh, sorry, I, mean, I won't give it like 8 out of 10. But honestly, this is definitely the weakest out of the Lego movies. Overall, guys, this is the first Lego we have to give the, um, a low rating. Not very low, just, honestly, I had to give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's not good. It's not bad. It's meh. But if you get if you haven't seen the movie yet, give it a watch. But honestly, this is definitely the weakest out of the Lego movies. I think Lego Battery is way better. I think this movie could have released in twenty eight in twenty eighteen, and then you make a lot of money. But sadly, this is the first Lego movie to flop at the box office. This movie came out the same day as King's Men, I guess. I think it came out the exact. I think King's Men came out the same day as this movie. So that, maybe that's the reason why this movie flopped, and the critics, they didn't like the movie that much. Overall, 6 out of 10, it's not good, it's not bad, it's meh. That's my review on Lego Jogger Movie. Please, Mike Mitchell, don't let me down for Lego Movie 2. If, please don't ruin it. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.